Today, I'm with one of the world's greatest chefs, Chef Shion Q, who is actually featured on Forbes. We're gonna be recreating some of the most expensive dishes in the world because you've cooked over $10 million worth of meals. You're crazy, man. I heard that he charges $10,000 a day. Like, hey, man, I gotta feed my kids. All right, well, here's $10,000. Time is money, and I ain't got much of it. All right, bro, you about to fill me up? Yes, sir. You gonna fill my Yo, tank? Oh, what? The? Yeah, yeah, I'll fill your tank. Bro. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, the first meal we're recreating is the world's most luxurious French toast. That's not French toast, bro. This is going to be a French toast donut, which is even more valuable than the one that we found previously. So the one we found online was a $55 French toast. How expensive is this one gonna be? This one's going to be right around $300 with the amount of gold we're adding to it as well. The one thing I noticed is we have blue eggs. Like, did you dye these before you got here? So like, basically, these are pasture-raised eggs. It makes a difference. These chickens live on an open grass field without a chicken coop. It's very important. If your eggs aren't blue, you better do something new, okay? All right, let's get it, bro. I wanna Come see on. how you make this. $300 breakfast, definitely the most expensive breakfast I've had. So we're gonna cut the top of the donut off right here. You guys will cut your hands, so watch out. Cut the bottom off. This is gonna be our base for the donut. I'm gonna set this aside and get to making the batter. Look at the egg color. Oh, man. Ooh! Egg, bro. How was that crack? I'll do the one hand crack right here. Yo, wait, 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 why aren't you measuring anything? If you need to measure what you're cooking, then you're not a real chef. Real chefs don't measure because they can eyeball it. Okay. So right now we're about to do the cinnamon challenge except in the French toast. I like that. One teaspoon of honey. Dude, dude, dude. It's okay, it's gonna taste good, I promise. Okay. Now we're gonna mix it. We're gonna do half a teaspoon of butter. Ooh. Chef Shion, what makes this a $300 breakfast? What makes it a $300 breakfast is that you can't get it anywhere in the world. This should almost end up on StockX with how unique it is, because you can't get it anywhere. So we're gonna go right here. This is what you call the French toast dip. You go in here one time, let it soak up, and you flip him over right here. Ooh. This is pretty eggy and delicious. Dude, I genuinely feel bad for my fans because I make so many food videos. Everyone's probably hungry watching them. Ooh. Bro, yo, 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 when is it ready? Are, are we almost done? Can, can I get some, yo, get some French what, toast? What's on your face, bro? What do you mean? What do you mean? It's sugar, bro. It's sugar. I actually got powdered sugar on my nose. <laughs> yo. Best cameraman of all time. Don't eat the gold, bro. What are you doing? Oh, we're doing rose gold. Ooh. I almost don't even want to eat this. Well, each one of these little pieces costs like $100. So the more you put, the more expensive it gets? Yeah, like it's actually worth more than $300 right now. All right, $300 French toast, rose gold French toast. It looks expensive. Wait, doesn't this have a lot of calories? Though? Well, if you look in the center of the donut, there's zero calories. <laughs> This guy's amazing. I want the one with the most Ooh, look at this, it. look at this. I want this. Can you hurry up, bro? Cheers, $300 French toast. Mm. Oh my god. That's amazing. That's unreal. I can't even talk. Whoa. The texture of it. It's so like fluffy. Yeah, this is probably the best I've ever had. No, me too. Yes. You get it? You get it? You drink? Like ah! <laughs> Try your own meal. Okay, I'll do it right now. Whoa. You got some gold on your lips. <laughs> what a great way to start off the day. This is literally just breakfast. You know why it's called breakfast, right? Why? Because you're breaking your fast. So it's break fast. Oh, learn something new every day, eh? All right, my guy, what's next? We're gonna do the truffle gold Wagyu sliders. These are the most expensive ingredients anyone could use in food, so why not put them all in one dish? What are these? So these are gonna be our house-baked pretzel buns that I baked for three hours. So the meal we're recreating was actually $400, the same exact thing, but how much is this gonna be? This meal is going to be about $500 because of the tweaks that I made. I'm really excited. We're gonna be cooking it outdoors. Let's get to it. This is my first time using this grill, and it's not even me. And then what is this, just egg, or? That is going to be my garlic butter that I made, oh. and that's going to go on the bun to give it the most amazing flavor ever. Garlic. <laughs> so this is our truffle salt, and Rug is going to add it to the burger. Oh my god, you're killing it, man. Thank you. Right in the middle, right in the middle, spread it out. Okay. Oh, the garlic butter on the Wagyu! Oh my god, you're going crazy, man. Oh my god, what happened to the burgers? So this is how Noah's recording right now. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> Are you okay, bro? There's a lot of smoke. <laughs> hey, man, you're getting smoked right now. Yeah, how do you like it when I get these angles, huh? Ooh, the pretzel buns look crispy. So you want to do the honors? While he's doing that, I'm going to put my special truffle sriracha spicy mayo right here. Secret sauce rug is in for a treat. Put the camera right there. Look at this guy killing it, man. Dude, I'm sorry, That's but looking I love real cheese. cheesy, buddy. I love cheese. You know, we're going crazy over here. If you're not going crazy, you might as well call yourself lazy. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do this. Count to 10. 
One, two, three. Oh, like slower. Yeah, yeah. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Check, check. Oh, not, not melted yet. Right. I got a hack. Ready? Watch this. Open it. What the hell? Why? It's steaming them. It's steaming them. I'm learning a lot today. I'm not going to lie. We're going to add our shallots. A tastier version of an onion. Oh my gosh. Crazy how they fit perfectly. I know. The chives. Nice. Chives save lives. In the finale, more butter. Oh, we're gonna use the butter also for something else. So we're gonna close these guys right here. And more butter. That uh, looks actually insane, bro. So now the gold will stick to the buns. So you can't have a completed pretzel bun without salt on it. So don't get salty. We're adding some Malden sea salt on top right here. Also one of the most fine salts you can get. Oh my gosh, bro. It's a large amount of gold we're adding here. So this meal sums up to $500 or more. So it's 500 for the set of three. So here we have $1,000 worth of Wagyu sliders. Yeah, basically. Nice. Oh my goodness. Enjoy. <laughs> I had to invite Papa Rug for these expensive burgers. Why? My dad has exquisite taste. Why they're so tiny? It's a slider. It's a snack. First we should sauce. remove the paper. No, 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 no. That's the part of it. It's gold. Here's a truffle spicy man. My dad will go first. How can I eat with the camera <laughs> in my face? Noah gets the angles. Wow, that was a crazy bite. Like this is from In-N-Out? I mean, it's the best burger place in the world, so technically, yes, it is. Dude, this is crazy. We got gold on our fingers. So when I eat the gold, so I worth some money now, right? Mm -hmm. And you're gonna poop gold. <laughs> That is really, really good. Now, I want you to guess the price of three of these. Probably $150. $500. $500. <laughs> <laughs> you owe me oh, for eating that. You owe me for testing it for you. Oh, get on. Hey, man. <laughs> Rug. We have some more gold for you, sleepy Dude, boy. You don't understand. I'm actually in a food coma. <laughs> Dude, well, you're gonna have to get an IV and get up, cause look, bro, this caffeine's gonna allow you to eat the pizza. <laughs> Why'd you say caffeine? Let's drink it. Wait, what the hell? Gold coffee? Yeah, I even melted the gold so it goes what? in your system. That Wagyu burger actually put me out. This one's gonna bring you back. Oh my gosh, that's actually fire. If you were to put a price on this, that's an extra hundred dollars right there. A hundred? Yeah. <laughs> So the original meal we're recreating is sashimi, which was $2,700, but what are we making? We're making a gold truffle fried rice to complement the amazing sashimi. And yes, everything's covered in gold, which makes it extremely expensive. Dude, I hate you so much. Please just do what you were doing, bro. <laughs> If you guys want to know how to make the best fried rice in the world, I genuinely think that this is it. And this totals up to 5,000. This fried rice is probably the most delicate fried rice on earth. I actually love fried rice too. Is it chicken fried rice or just regular? It's just regular fried okay, rice. Okay, that's because fine. we want the sashimi to take control. Okay. So we're going to do four egg yolks in here. Well, why are we using egg yolks, you may say? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. So the egg, this is similar to a lot of stuff you might find in Asia. And I'm bringing it to America. First step to making an amazing fried rice is actually frying the rice. But before we do that, we're going to saute our Vegetables. So right here we have green onions and shallots. Smells, Smells good, right? So good. So we're gonna dump this into the pan right here. Go ahead and do the honors. While that's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and do the magical thing right here. We're gonna add the rice to the egg yolk. So that's not common. It's super common in Asia, but you won't find it at many restaurants in America because they just don't have good enough chefs. I'm gonna mix the egg yolks Ooh. onto the rice. The rice is turning yellow. So it's gonna give it a nice golden color. We're going to add the chopped garlic to the rice. You can't have fried rice without the garlic. <laughs> Here comes my secret ingredient. It's going to be duck fat, which is one of the most delicate animal fats that you could ever find. Now that the shallot is brown, I'm going to add the rice. So can I just ask what the duck fat does? So the duck fat, I'm going to just add more flavor to this rice. Cover the whole surface area of the pan. Now that that's happening right there, right here, we have our Japanese rice vinegar, and we have our ponzu sauce, and we have soy sauce. I'm a bartender, I swear. Three and one, one two, three. Ooh. Now we have the liquids added. Boom, boom, boom. We're gonna add the truffle salt. A little more, a little more. Now we want a little heat. Go ahead and grab that chili oil right there. So this is going to give it that flavor that we're looking for. Ooh. See how crispy that rice is? It's not burnt, that's just crispy. I'm going to add two more eggs. Just scramble them in there. Rug can do it. Yes, sir. Look at that. Ooh. So this one's done. Ooh, authentic. We're gonna garnish it. Green onions, sriracha, okay. black sesame seeds, and then we get add gold right here. Damn, dude, That's crazy fried rice. This is, I've never seen fried rice like that. You killed this one. Thank you, next sushi. So is this the nigiri? Yes, this is the nigiri. We're going to be doing a yellow fin tuna and we're going to be doing an Atlantic salmon. Hands are wet. We're gonna grab some rice right here. Wet my fingers again and do this right here, this movement right here. 
Boom, have it shaped nicely. I could set it down right there. You got it. Yeah, you got it. Boom. There you go. Look hey, not bad, not bad. We're going to be taking some of this very spicy stuff called wasabi, traditionally putting it right under here. I'm going to put a little bit of ponzu sauce. Pour some on both, just a little bit. There you go. Get a nice piece. Very slowly, just place it on top. Boom. Oh, wait, it's that simple? It's that simple. This caviar here is an extra thousand dollars. And now the final ingredient. We all know what's coming. All right, guys, here's the official $5,000 sashimi and gold fried rice. This looks insane. I'm going with this one first. Oh my god, this tastes expensive. So many flavors in my mouth right now. You get the spice, you get the tenderness, you get everything. It's so fire. Wow, as if you haven't tried anything like this before. Isn't it so flavorful? Like mm -hmm. there's like a hint of everything. Sweet, sour. We're not done yet though. I know. We have the world's best fried rice and also the world's most expensive fried rice as well. This is unreal. Once again, just so many flavors all at once. No, just turn the camera, bro. You gotta do it. <laughs> Oh my god. So far, today has been a 10 out of 10 day. I'm blessed to be able to do that. So we're gonna be making $12,000 pizza. That's a lot of money, man. We're recreating another pizza that was actually 12K, and this is the same price. So right now, the reason it's so expensive is we're using three different types of gold, and on top of that, this pizza dough took me 17 hours to prepare. I did triple fermentation on it. That's why it's so big and fluffy. Wow. <laughs> We're gonna pour some olive oil in our pan. So I'm making the pizza with you. Yeah. Just a little oil. Got it. Bring some cornmeal right here. What is that? It yeah. just makes it a little crispier. I'm just gonna do that in the bottom of the pan. Dude, I just wanna like play with the dough. Like it feels so satisfying. So now, put some flour on your hand. Now you can play with the dough. Grab it, two fists like this, and just do this, move it around. See how easy that stretched? Lay it on your pan. And then you can just shape it in. Okay. Dude, wow, this actually smells really good. Looks like we're ready to go. Just do this. Which one do you want to do, barbecue or marinara? Barbecue. All right, he's gonna do the barbecue chicken and we'll get started right now. I'm gonna cover the edges with butter. Ooh, is that normal? Most popular pizza places do it. It's not traditional Italian, but you know, we're gonna take the good things from traditional and the good things from non-traditional and make the best of both worlds. All right, so we're gonna take the barbecue sauce right here. Man, the smell in my kitchen today has been insane. So I got my marinara sauce. I'm doing Ooh. a little different vibe. I'm gonna do a little bit of truffle salt on mine because it makes everything taste good. You wanna do some on yours? Yeah. It smells really good too. It smells fire. It smells bro. fire. Now the next part is the chicken. Do it in whatever order you want. It's all about what you want. Okay. Tell me about this chicken here. So I actually also prepped this chicken. I smoked the chicken for nine hours straight in my smoking pit, marinated. I made everything myself, and it has a little bit of a kick. Okay. We love the chicken. I got the I got the I got the chicken on the pizza. Now what? So I'm gonna be doing a little bit of onion on this pizza because onions and garlic are the base for any dish. Just put it on. Dude, onions do make everything better. I'm gonna cover my whole pizza in pepperoni. So correct me if I'm wrong, but the main thing that's gonna make this extremely expensive is the gold. The it is three good. types of gold. But it's always good to add greens to your pizza. I'm gonna put basil on mine, and Rug has a surprise for his. I forgot about the surprise. So what's the next step? Gesso. Gesso. Dude, I love my cheese, man. This literally just makes the pizza. This is more Gouda. We're hooking them up right here. We'll add shaved Parmesan. You know, because having multiple cheeses just gives it more flavor. All right, I think it's time to put them in the oven. You get top rack. I get middle rack. Let's go, boys. All right. So racks are always in the middle. You know? Remember, we're not going to time it. Everything is eyeballed here. If you're a real chef, you don't time anything. For the snack before dinner, we're making golden wings. Very expensive. So right here, we have the fried crispy chicken wings right here. And this is just a snack. Look how gold that is. Right here, what's that? Lemon pepper butter. Yes, sir. We're gonna cover the wings in it. All that, all that. We're gonna save some of this. We're gonna put this on a pizza crust. Oh, okay. Remember, we don't measure, we just add ball. Look good? Yeah, that's good. And then we're gonna add some Parmesan to the wings. Ooh, get some gold on there. So here is my gold lemon pepper wing. And guys, you can't eat these wings with Without Papa Rug, can you just help us with this? Ranch. Ranch. You know they call me ranch, right? Why? Because I'd be dressing. I knew that was coming. Taste test. Let's go. All oh, the yeah. gold. All the gold. ranch. Oh my god. Is it good? It is really hot. But it's so good. This is a great snack before the ultimate pizza. 
The pizza's burning! Brian, it's burning! Run, bro! What the? Bro, it's burning! Why are you walking? It's burning! Dude, I already knew you guys were trolling. Oh, whoa, is it done? It's so done. Oh, yo, Let's mine go. looks fire. I wonder what would happen if I touched this. I might burn. What are you doing? Yo! Some micro cilantro. Yes, sir! I was not expecting that, bro. You Hello? really hid your next move. You, I got some micro cilantro in my freaking microwave. Ain't nobody do that. Face rug! It is time for the gold. The gold is literally melting onto the pizza. Dude, mine is just getting stuck to my fingers. Each one of these slices is $1,000. Yeah, dude, look at that. The gold is literally melting onto the pizza. Dude, I know. Why does it get stuck to your fingers? It like disintegrates. You dude! No! Oh, there you go. We have white gold. I'm gonna be adding to this pizza. It's not foil, I promise. It's just as expensive or more as the regular gold. Also, some rose gold. So we got triple cheese pizza and a triple gold pizza as well. Think it's ready to be cut? I think it's super ready to be cut. All right, guys, this is it. The final meal of the day. $12,000 pizza with three types of gold on it. I made barbecue chicken. You made just a regular pepperoni. You ready to give them a taste test? Let's get into it. If you don't fold your pizza like this, what are you doing? You ready? Bro just had one ounce of metal. Holy crap. That is fire. This looks crazy. Oh, wow. The onion, the chicken, the, the gold, sauce, the gold. gold. Brings out all the flavor. We recreated and ate some of the most expensive dishes in the world. Shout out to my boy, Chef Shion. You know what? I got something else for you. I'll be right back. What do you think it is? Another gold something? Something with gold in it, yeah. Definitely something gold. What a nice night. Ending it off with some gold pizza next to the fire pit, surrounded by my friends. What more can I ask for? <laughs> you can also ask for 200,000 likes. 200,000 likes and hit that subscribe button. I'm just curious to see what he's bringing me out. He really filled you up. He filled up my table. I'm not gonna lie from the beginning. I asked for that and he fulfilled guys by tank. I mean like my stomach obviously Whoa right, guys, I have a 24 karat golden donut you guys have seen this one before but I have to top it off It's literally melting gold. Oh my gosh and Nutella. This is a great way to end off the night. <sighs> Oh my gosh, amazing. We've had this already before. We just have to bring it back, you know? Shout out to the donut bar in downtown San Diego, bro. They That's make the best donuts. Go try it for yourself. Mm. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was a fun day. I'm extremely full. Shout out to my boy, Chef Shion. Follow me on IG. Link is in the description. Hope you all have a great rest of your day. We'll see you all with the next video. Peace.